to another amazing world of Gumball Reaction. We're on Season 3, Episode 5, The Puppy. I mean, obviously, there's a puppy in this episode. I don't know if they get, like, a pet or something. Which, I mean, it would be really weird if they do get a pet dog. Considering two of them are cats, two of them are rabbits, and one of them is a fucking goldfish. Which, I mean, I, mean, I swear to God they said in one of the episodes that Darwin was a pet originally. So, does that mean, like, he was a pet that just became sentient and they adopted him or something? Like, is that what happened? I don't know. To be honest, I have nothing else to say. Let's just get into this. Let's okay. This one last time. Okay. What the hell are these I business like outfits? I today's presentation by asking you one important question: Is your family happy? Sure. <laughs> know what you're gonna say. <laughs> sure, we're pretty happy. But ask yourself this: Could this family be more happy? Hell yes. yes. Don't forget to compliment the buyer. Love your shoes, by the way. <laughs> okay. Is this so they could get like a dog or something? He vanished. Oh yeah, what? So I saw this commercial oh. on TV yesterday for washing powder, and I wondered how much you need to clean a monkey. Then I thought about how cute monkeys were with their furry little. Feet. Okay, what you got a monkey? The puppies were even cuter than oh. dogs, and that's why I bought a sandwich. What? Oh, okay. What <laughs> yeah. That's what you Wait, got what? Powder, wasn't it? Ah! Wait, what? Okay. Ugh, what is that? Looks like an angry. Okay, so I'm guessing it's obviously considering how small that box was, I didn't think there would actually be a puppy in it. What the fuck is that? It looks Please like a turtle. That isn't a puppy. Definitely isn't a puppy. I can't believe you've done this, Richard. A pet is a big responsibility, and I don't have time to look after a. Ugh, what on earth is that? <laughs> it's a labradoodle. It's definitely not. It's a labradoodle. If you kids wanted sure. a turtle, you didn't want a turtle. Well, you should have thought of that before making your <laughs> okay. buy one. I mean, they didn't even actually ask, though. To be fair. Maybe he's just hungry. I get pretty cranky when I'm. Hungry. <laughs> what are you okay then. Here? Souls. I'm sorry, but I'm calling it. I mean, it, it sure probably is, is, or it's just a wild animal. Who knows what's going through his head right now? Bite, bite, bite. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus bite, bite, Christ, that's bite, bite. fucking Make terrifying. Even more. Or maybe he's just anxious because this is our territory. We should give him his own space. There. I mean, yeah, any, something better than a fucking cardboard box. <laughs> Dude, Honestly, fair enough. This is criminal. He's bound to behave like one. Put him down. Good. Oh my god, does it only hate Gumball or something? But I mean, it said it wanted to eat the other ones as well, okay, to be fair. Talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Ew. What the fuck did it speak? And it's gonna bite his face. Oh my god, okay. I didn't expect it to actually bite Gumball's eyes and shit. <laughs> oh my god, how? How could that possibly happen? It looks like a fucking dinosaur or something. Now I know what you're gonna say. You oh my take god. Care of it. You're shirking responsibility. But ask yourself this Who's really responsible here? The person who was given the responsibility or the person who gave that person the responsibility? I say technically, you can only blame yourself. That's a very convincing argument. Okay, then. Unfortunately, to persuade this family CEO, the turtle would have to do something absolutely horrific. Okay, oh then. I mean. It's absolutely horrific! Okay, I mean, there you go. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I mean, that's Where did the Richard even get this from? Dad, that was a van. You bought a turtle from a man. Oh. In a van. <laughs> I honestly Such thought it was like awesome magic story. for a second. <laughs> what the that? hell? It's not my car as well. Oh. So, we're here, and we know the store was here. And if we draw a line between them, it spells the letter I. And we okay, all know then. That there's no I in team. So we know <laughs> that the sure. van isn't in a sports center. But look what happens when I draw a line here and here. The Trident of Poseidon. Lord. Okay, Richard, at this point, I feel like you're just fucking, you're saying absolutely nothing. Like, what the fuck are you on about? Where is the turtle, by the way? Oh, yeah. I have to think outside so we can take a break. Oh, I God. Mean, all this is not good for I mean, to be fair, though, at least the turtle's going to be gone. Too wait, oh, wait, what? Yeah, like a peaceful. Oh my fucking god, I did not see that coming. What the hell? I'll always think fondly of the way he put fear into my heart. <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh, I'll miss his, you know, the funny way he, uh, the thing he. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, is there really anything positive to say at this point? <laughs> okay, I oh, thought they're gonna at least bury it. Because we couldn't take care of him. Oh my god, I fucking knew it was gonna come back to life. Well, <laughs> and oh, what the fuck? Forget saving the turtle. Yeah, the plan to save, the <laughs> save everyone else. This is no time for dinner. This isn't for it's us. For the turtle. The to use it as bait. After eating all this turkey, he'll fall into a food coma. Then I'll carefully okay. put the bowl over his head and slide the card underneath him. Is that going to work? That bowl looks fucking tidy compared to that turtle. Down the animal. <laughs> oh, you oh, fucking. No. What are we gonna use as bait now? 
the bait. I mean, it seems to hate you the most, to be fair. Hello? Is anyone there? Wait, is this like a... Oh, no, it's a fucking crocodile. What the hell? Oh, never... <laughs> For a second, I thought it, that was a crocodile. Okay. I can't find the edge. <laughs> Imagine if this isn't even their one. <laughs> okay, why is this thing so indestructible though? Like, where the fuck did Richard get it from? Why was this van? Oh, wait, is that the place? Okay, I think I'm safe now. Where is it? It's probably about to climb up. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, apparently you can fucking open windows. Go. Oh wait, is this thing about to die from fireworks? Okay. Well, there goes the awesome store. And it's still alive, because of course it is. What the fuck is this thing made out of? Like why like what like is it magic or what? Like oh. Okay, that really works. How long do they live? 130 years. Oh my god. Are they actually going to keep it for the rest of the show? Because that would actually be quite funny. Okay, so Anton has had a heavy meal, but oh, oh wait, it's no, the fucking coach again. I didn't expect to say her, at least for a fair while. Respects the water. He learned how to rescue his friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, on my mark. <laughs> okay, please stop. For the love of God, just stop. Okay, just go. Gumball. This should be the toast is actually probably drowning. Can I get some help here? No. <laughs> okay then, well. That's why this toast is just, you know, casually dra- Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, surely, surely that toast guy is dead. But like, get fucking, you know, eaten by ducks before, so who knows. <laughs> okay, yeah, Gumball, it's dead. Okay, Jesus Christ. That was the fucking- most insane intro to an episode I've ever seen. Literally, all the kids are traumatized there. Oh wait, he's oh, perfectly possible? fine. Am I the only one around here, Maze, that he's still alive? Yes. You must have a very good immune system. What? Dude, he was gone. You know when you're born, right? I mean, yeah, we have seen him get like ripped up by ducks and shit before with the live-action footage. No, dude, he came back to life. Yes. And I'm gonna find out how. Okay then. Huh? Ah! <laughs> wait, there's Straight up killing him at this point, okay. He's there. He's fine again. He's wearing a mustache. No, wait, he's wearing lipstick. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. And they're gay. Um, I'm guessing that's oh, the parents. Parent. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? They're cooking toast? Hi, wait, that's how he... They can just bring him back to life with a toaster. Okay, sure. They did something with the doll before Anton came out. I think it was one left, one right, and then four and a half. Okay then. I think this one is a bit burnt. Yes. There's a righteous farewell. Bye. <laughs> okay. I think we should try. Okay, so this is actually got actually creating life. That's insane. Okay. Yay! We made Anton. What shall we call him? Ant mm, two. Ant two. Okay then. <laughs> We what the fuck say? Yes, which is kind of weird. So what does that mean that like each time this kid dies, they just clone him and he comes back to life? <sighs> that was close. Okay. Why isn't he repeating it? Yeah, what? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> hmm. Okay. I can't tell if he's repeating or being sarcastic. Or both. What are you hiding? Oh god. Mm, nothing. Show me your hands. Does he have to? Yeah, they're one. Come on, show me both hands. Okay, does that mean imply that he's... Oh. You made it, Ant! <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Ant 2 was gone! Oh, and God. And you would be angry at me, and you would do the angry mouth, and I would cry! Okay, this is bad, but it could get way worse. I mean, what if he bumps into the wheel, Anton? Yeah, I mean... We're gonna get towed off? No. Oh, yeah, probably, I guess. Wait, um, isn't that the- Aha! I told you he was the clone. What clone? No, it's obviously the original one. You're trapped! They're being held captive! What the hell? They're close. <laughs> Can he just fucking sense all of them or some shit like that? Oh my god, okay, isn't he gonna question this? Don't worry, you're safe now. Okay. It's time to make a sandwich. <laughs> oh, that is the bird's one. 
I was the first. Kneel before me. Okay. Um, and there's gonna be a big fucking army now. You know what? I of course. don't think I care anymore. <laughs> See you later, guys. Ah! Anton! What? Uh, 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 you're late for class! Oh no! Ah! Thanks, guys! Huh? Okay, they're not gonna be able to tell which one's the real one. Oh, thank goodness he's as dumb as the other ones. I thought we were busted and he'd find out about the cloning. What cloning? Oh my god, okay. What, did what would you say to that, that loud? Doesn't mean I'm out of earshot. <laughs> you made a clone of me? How many did you make? Um, you know, Nothing. fucking like how many? How many? 15. Uh, how many? How many? Oh no, like. Enough to have okay, Jesus. Christ. First, I got off for Darwin, you know, killed him. Okay, I think we'll be safe here. Oh my god, of course. What's your problem, man? Why are you so mean? Because once I get rid of him, I'll become the only answer. Okay, then. Maybe then you'll be my friend, father. <laughs> Yes, this is a bit fucking strange. And if I can't be the one, all you have to do is pick him up and just chuck him in the. This is the end. We're too heavy. You'll have to let us go. Dude, you're two pieces of toast. <laughs> I flipped it a sandwich before. Okay, then, well, I guess he's gone. Yeah, you think you got rid of me? Well, I'll be back, and you'll forever fear my return. Okay. Is it gonna fucking get sucked down there? So yeah, I'm fucking you. I don't know, something like. <laughs> Look, man, I'm so sorry for what we've done. Yeah, we like that was honestly one of the strangest things you've ever done. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive us, and we can still be friends. Still be friends. Oh, I did. <laughs> I fucking thought that was this, the one they cloned, and not like the original one. But then I don't know. They they acted like it was the original one, so I just didn't ask questions. <laughs> okay, that turtle was. Fucking insane. Like, why was it that powerful? Like, nothing could break it. Like, a car ran into it and somehow, the, you know, the car became all fucked up. But the turtle was fine. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, does that mean they're going to keep it for the rest of the show? If so, that's actually kind of cool. But, like, I'm kind of doubtful that they will. But, oh, my God. So, that fucking turtle, how, like, what is this store that Richard got it from? If it's just a fucking van. Like, you know, the awesome store. And why are they selling turtles? That are, you know, are absolutely insane. Like, it's the turtle magic or something, and that's why it's this insane. I mean, it seemed to hate Gumball more than it hated everyone else. But, like, it still fucking hated everyone else. But the fact that it tried to drown Darwin is, is like, in actually insane. I actually did think that it was dead, though, to be honest. When they left it out in the sun for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Or half an hour, however long they said. But then, you know, apparently one drop of tears bring it back to life. Which, that's a pity. Because... Of how fucked it is. Like, honestly, it probably would have been better off dead. And I feel kind of fucked for saying that. But, like, am I wrong? That was a really good episode. I, li I like that one. But holy shit. If that turtle does stay, like, what are they going to do? They can't just keep it in the house or whatever. Because if that thing goes around and tries to fucking bite them and shit every five seconds. But, I mean, they can't leave it out either. Because then apparently it just dries up and nearly dies. And I say nearly because apparently it fucking didn't. Oh, okay, okay. So... Apparently, you know, that fucking toast guy could just die and come back to life, which I mean, it makes sense considering in other episodes he's been in, he's got fucking ripped up and that by ducks and shit. Like, I swear that's at least happened twice. So I guess it makes sense that, you know, that his parents could just, you know, put bread in a toast and apparently he's born again. Which, oh my god, okay. So when they do it, does, is it actually just him coming back or is it like, are they just keep on cloning him or something like Darwin and Gumball did? They spit a toast or whatever can apparently just easily get manipulated into doing anything that anyone says. For example, the fucking burnt toast just came in and was like, oh yes, I am your leader now. And they just went along with it. Like, is that... Are they just kind of mindless? I mean, I feel bad for saying that, but... That's the best way I can describe it. I mean, the burnt toast apparently wasn't. At first, when they, like, you know, shot the water at the guy, I forgot his name. I thought that Darwin did it because, you know, out of fear of, like, getting caught or something. But, no, of course it was the fucking army. I mean, I, I have nothing else to say. That was kind of insane. I didn't even expect to get an episode focused on the toast kid. I don't know his name or something beginning with A. But, I mean, it was funny and fucking strange as shit, but... I, pr I feel like that's practically 99% of this show, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.